we are Rob and Ali sharing with you our passion of all things cruise and travel. Today I am hugging my little carnival bear and Rob's... I've got P&O bear. And the reason why we've got Carnival Bear and P&O Bear is we are going to do something that we've been asked to do for, for a little while now. And that is we're going to do a head-to-head -head comparison between the P&O Pacific Encounter and the Carnival Luminosa, both of which are currently home-ported in Brisbane. They've come home. Well, Encounter's already been here. Encounter's here all year round, but Luminosa has, uh, has come back to Brisbane, yes. <laughs> the reason we chose these two ships is because they are very similar in size. So if you're going to choose, this would be these would be the ones that you'd say we're going to, they're like with like. Yeah, they, they, they are a very similar ship. Yes. Absolutely, although they are very different ships as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to concentrate on the characteristics of the ships rather than our personal opinions on things like the, the food etc we'll talk about the restaurants we'll talk about yeah. what's available um and, and you know basically give you the information to make up your own mind which you feel might be right for you okay yeah. so they are they're, they're very similar ships as i said they are similar length similar width they both have 12 decks. Um, 12 decks. Encounter has a little bit, um, a few more cabins uh, than the Luminosa and it can hold a few more passengers. And the all important crew to passenger ratio is very similar. It's slightly higher on the Carnival Luminosa. Yeah, what are they, about 2.4 to 1? Yep. yep. At full capacity? 2.3 and 2.4. They also have a very similar space ratio. Now, the space ratio is basically the number of passengers per gross ton i think that's how it's worked out but mm -hmm. uh, somebody will tell me if i'm wrong but essentially what it does it gives you an indication as to how crowded the ship will feel mm -hmm. um the the numbers to remember are sort of 33 to 39 but it, and below 33 is going to feel very crowded above 39 is not and uh, they're sitting at about 34 and 35 each so on both of those ships you are going to feel the same degree of crowdedness is that a word yes the same the same <laughs> number of sort of um how many people are around the pool, maybe, that's, that, that kind of thing. It. How many people are trying to get to the bar at any one time, so that sort of thing. You're going to feel about the same on both. Yeah. One is not going to feel any more crowded than the other, which is what, what we're trying to say. Yeah, yeah. So let's do the things that, that are, the, that they are all, that they all, that they both have, the amenities that they both mm. have, um, and that they are both sort of, we think about equal in standard as well. Yeah. So they both have a casino. And the casinos are well appointed in both, so they'll have um, the the slot machines, um, tables. Yeah, all the pokey, tables. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the usual, and they're, they're both they're both really nicely appointed with that. Theatres. They both have beautiful theatres, full size stages, um, excellent lighting and sound in mm. both of them, and beautiful seating. Yeah, I can't what, remember which one has the little table. The Luminosa. I was just about mm. to say though, the Luminosa has perhaps a little bit more room between the uh, the hours because they have individual little tables, and there's a there's a, a space at the other side of the table. So uh, if you if you maybe have some mobility issues, it's it's a little bit less squashy getting to those middle seats on the Luminosa mm. than if they're on the Encounter. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then we've got the um, the shops. So again, they both have shops with things like jewellery um, and the where you can go and buy your bear. <laughs> they do have a similar uh, range of shops. Snack, they, yes. you know, the snack and what what would you call it? Kind of essentials. Um, the essentials, yeah. the essential yeah. stuff for your tablets. Jewellery, essentials, clothes. The obviously the brand yeah. store. Um, Carnival has the kind of a one. Little bargain days where they put stuff out on a table that but would be at reduced prices, that yeah. kind of Both thing. Both very similar. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the spa and salon. Again, beautifully appointed um, spas and salons. Full range of, um, what would you call it, kind of luxury treatments. Mm. Yeah. And the gyms That's that go with them as well. They both have gyms as well. Yeah. Um, photo gallery, always have a photo gallery. Yeah. Um, I think they're both still doing the photo pictures, are they? 
Yes, yeah. and they, they yeah. do the, the, I think what you're referring to is the specialty photos where you, you have a private sitting and they take those photographs. They, they, can, they can be quite expensive and they're quite expensive on both ships, to be honest mm. with you. But um, there is that option on both of those ships to have your family gathering and your special photographs taken. So, Which yeah. is always nice when you go on a cruise if you've got family or friends that you yeah. might never get those beautiful pictures True. that you're all dressed up. But maybe stick background. to the normal ones rather than the, uh, the lifestyle or whatever uh-huh. ones, which are in the, they're generally in the hundreds. Oh, Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Um, and then we've got, let me just say, sorry, I do have to refer to my notes because there's so yeah. much to tell you. Um, library, they both have libraries. I don't think either of them are particularly well stocked, um, but they do have games and it, they're nicely, they're sort of nicely furnished and they're nice areas to just go and sit and, ha- and have a read or get your yeah. computer out. They're nice areas actually just to be a little bit quieter, um, nice and bright, both of them and uh, tables and things. I do seem to Tables recall. I do wow. seem to recall though that they did have music playing in the um, the Luminosa one, but then the Encounter Library is perhaps it's, a little bit quieter. Um, nightclub. They both have nightclubs. Mm-hmm. Nightclubs are probably quite different, aren't they? On those two ships, they're both actually really good nightclubs. But the biggest difference is the um, uh, the Luminosa yeah. is actually inside the ship on the, the main deck or one of the main decks, whereas the encounter is separately, it's right at the back of the ship, up um, on the, the the trolley handle that goes across the back of the ship. Mm. So that's so, about yeah. the 15th or 16th. <laughs> 17th, I think it is. Actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the extra, extra, extra deck. Um, and it's really good because it has an escalation and everything that goes there. However, it does mean if you just wanted to pop in, um, pop your head round the door, see whether you wanted to go or not. The Luminosa is the one where you can just do that and decide whether you want to join in for 10 or 15 minutes. Whereas on the um, encounter, you've pretty much got to make it make it a plan to go there, get up the lift at the back of the ship and go to it. So that's really the main difference for it. And the medical center, which we're very lucky. We've never had to use in either, but obviously they have a proper medical center in both of those ships. Yeah. Um, so we've done the size and capacity. We've done the main things that are on offer. So now let's get down to the intricacies of the main item. So first up is this stateroom. So they each have just over a thousand staterooms. Um, the interior, Uh, cabins uh, they're all actually pretty similar but on the whole the luminosa cabins are slightly bigger they are across the range of and and we're excluding suites here because that's that's sort of a category on its own but if we take the inside we take the ocean views take the balconies and take the mini suites in all of those i think maybe not in the interior i think the luminosa is maybe about on average just one square meter smaller but in all the other categories the cabins are larger which enables them to accommodate a sofa. So that that's one of the big differences about yeah. the Encounter and the Luminosa is the um, the cabins are a little bit bigger. They generally have a sofa in there. You don't get those in the P&O Encounter ones, the Pacific Encounter ones. And it is, it sounds strange, but it is quite nice to have that sofa and a little table mm. in your room. Um, yeah, it's yeah, a little bit just... of a loungy area rather than just sitting on the chair or the bed. So... Yeah, yeah it, it's, it's up to you. Depends if you if you like that that idea of a sofa. The Luminosa, I think, probably has has mm. got that little bit more space. The amount of room to put your um, clothes and your bits and pieces in the drawer space and the the uh, wardrobes. It's always been enough for us, and you know yeah, we don't travel light. So there's never an issue in either of those again that would make no. you want to choose one more than the other. Yeah. Um, my recollection is, though, that the Luminosa beds are harder than the Pacific Encounter. The Pacific Encounter is the one that is like a big fluffy cloud. Uh, it's quite soft, but it, it's soft, but it isn't all saggy. It's kind of cloud-like. Yeah. Luminosa beds are, let's say, firmer. One of the next important things is pools. Um, mm. And this would depend. Big difference here. Yeah. There is a big difference here that yeah. you probably need to consider when you're working out which ship is is right for you. Um, And that's obviously if you like to be by the pools, if you've got children, if there's a gang of you and you all want to be seated together, that kind of thing. Um, So on the pools, let me, I'm sorry, I will have to refer again. So we've got two on the Carnival Luminosa, that's Mm. the Lido and the Serenity. Do you want to talk about those? Yeah, and the Serenity is the adults only 
and the Lido is the everybody else. Um, that's located uh, in, in an area they have a sliding roof. So it is an all weather pool uh, if they've got the roof pulled over. But it is a, the only pool on the ship that is available for, for mm. general use with, without going into the adults only area. And then on the uh, Pacific Encounter, that has a main pool. So it's pretty six similar. Pools on the encounter. Yeah, six pools. It's pretty similar to the, the Lido one on the Luminosa. It then has um, a family pool. Mm -hmm. So it has a main pool that's for everybody, a family pool that's for everybody. Um, is that the one with the that's the one with the closing roof? It is, yes. So that has the closing roof as well. Um, which so it's in inclement weather that they will close that over. So it doesn't necessarily have to rain, but it can be a little on the cold side or a bit windy. Um, so that's on both of them they've got that. This also has an adults only pool, which is beautiful. That's the oasis. It is nice to have the adult only yeah. pools. Um, then we've got uh, what's called a sunset pool, and that's sort of higher up, isn't it? A little it bit more out up. the way. And that is right next to the toddler pool. Um, there's a, they do have a special pool for toddlers, um, and there is the sunset pool right next to it, so that yeah. if you, know, you can... And then we've got a uh, Byron Beach. The Byron Beach. Beach pool, yes. Now, that is for select guests only. Um, that is only available for access for suite guests and certain mini suite guests. So, so we've had a little nose at that one, of course, because that's just our nature is to be very nosy. And that's uh, the same sort of size as the other pools and a nice area with all the seating around it. So it's a fairly, yeah. fairly big size pool. The Pacific Encounter has water slides. It has twin racer water slides. There's no water slides on the Luminosa. So taken as a whole, all that water activity, if that's, if you've got children, if they, if pools are important to you, if they're important to them, maybe steer towards the Encounter rather than yep. Luminosa. If you want a little bit quieter, because um, obviously with pools comes generally a bit more noise, um, then maybe look at the Luminosa. If pools aren't important to you, then maybe look towards the Luminosa. Yeah, mm. okay. Um, adventure activities. Now, I suppose it, we, you could say it depends on what you think about adventure activities. Adventure activities, exactly what we're right. classing as adventure activities are those things like zooming down on the zip wire, rock climbing up the side of the ship, those sort of things. That are... <laughs> you don't rock climb up the side of the ship. It's had a, it has a couple of climbing walls, but yes. <laughs> so there are, <laughs> there are um, actually, I, was, I think it was on... Barnacle. I think it was you on... climb up the barnacles. <sighs> Which ship was it on? It might have been Pacific Dawn that they actually put the, the rock climbing wall up the funnel. Anyway, that's... Um, yeah, yeah. It's so, that you, yeah, there's your flying fox, there's your um, climbing wall, there's laser tag, all those sort of adventure park activities which the kids and a lot of the adults love as well, um, is in the uh, the Edge package on yeah. the P&O Pacific Encounter. There is no similar package on the Luminosa. So again, if that's important to you, maybe lean towards the um, the Encounter. However, there is a charge for that. I think mm. there's three levels of package mm. that you can get for that, or you can pay individually for each individual. It, it works out a little bit expensive if you pay individually. But um, people with with the larger families, we've known people with sort of three or more kids, and they've said it starts to get it's a it's a bit of a pinch then to get that for every for all the, yeah, the whole family. Yeah, but that, that's that's, that's, per, that's personal, personal preference. It depends on whether you want that sort yeah. of. If you do, then as I said, lean towards the maybe lean towards the encounter. If not, maybe uh, look at the Luminosa. Talking of children, um, kids clubs, um, the kids clubs. We've been told. Um, oh, well, you you've used them, haven't you, from years ago? Yeah, get me used to going. Um, used to love going into the kids clubs, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That there. If if your children like going into kids clubs, they are both equally um, pleasing for the kids. <laughs> they have lots of activities, and the kids yeah. seem to love them. The activities are the activities are comparable. Um, I believe. I'm not sure about the carnival one because the girls got older and and didn't use them on that, but. The, the, and they both cater for ages 2 to 17. Now, here's the big thing to bear in mind, though. There are four kids' clubs on the Pacific Encounter, and there are three kids' clubs on the Luminosa. And the age groups for those vary. Now, they, they vary in the younger ages more so. I think Camp Ocean is 2 to 11 years of age. Yes, yeah, so that's the Luminosa is 2 to 11, yeah. 12 to 14, and then 15 to 17. Yeah. And then on the Pacific, 
it's two to five, six to nine, 10 to 13, mm-hmm. and then 14 to 17. So in that younger age group, there's a, it could span three different kids clubs. Now, if your children want to be together, but they're of different ages, have a look at the age groups for the kids clubs because sometimes they're not able to go into the other categories. So if, if your children want to be together and they are ages on the encounter that they're in two different clubs, they may very well have to go into those two different clubs rather than be together. It's just look at the ages, see which suits you, but bearing in mind there is no guarantee that they will be able to move those age groups around for your children. So dining, food. Isn't food the reason, I was going to say the reason why we live, <laughs> the reason why we go on cruises, is it? Yes, that's why you've got a little bit of a tummy. He's got a little bit of a tummy because of all the cruise food. Okay, so what's included? It's a bit complicated with these. So anyway, we'll try and work our way through. We try to (laughs) simplify it the best because and food obviously is very subjective as well. So we're not going to say which one we have the best food in because actually it changes meal by meal. Because of what's on offer, it does, it's really but difficult are, to say which is the best. It, it, yeah, it, it's down to personal preference, but there are some uh, differences that you may want to you know, take into account yeah. when choosing this, the ship. So in terms of the included dining, they both have a main dining room, um, the Waterfront Restaurant on the Pacific Encounter and the Vila Restaurant on the Luminosa. Um, in terms of the menus... The, the Encounter main dining room has two menus that they alternate on, I think it's a three-day basis. So menu A for three days, menu B for three days, menu A for three days. On a longer cruise, it's possible that that might get a little bit repetitive um, if if you don't want to, if there's only a few options on there that you, you like. On the Luminosa, the menu changes pretty much every day mm. and they have theme nights in there as well. So they will have a Mexican night, an Italian night, a tropical night. Um, so in the same restaurant, you'll find there's a lot more variety. Of course, when they have those theme nights, if you don't like Mexican food, they'll still have the old favourites. They'll still have an alternative. Yeah. It's just that it gives you, you can kind of get dressed up and get into that theme of it. Mm. The staff will quite often get dressed up, so they'll be tropical or they'll be Mexican or whatever. And it just gives that a little bit yeah. of a different, a different and, air to it. And on the Luminosa, the crew will generally do a song at each sitting. Um, it's good. Yeah. F- it, it, that's actually good fun. It sounds it is, it is really fun. cheesy, doesn't it? <laughs> and actually, it's just nice. It's a nice little thing to watch. They'll do a little dance round or whatever, or yeah. maybe the maitre d will give a song and then everyone will join in. Yeah. Uh, it's fun and we, yeah. we like it. They both have uh, a choice of traditional dining, so an early sitting or a late sitting, or any time dining where you choose what time. So there's no difference there in, the, um, in your options. Now, I said that they have um, different food and different themes each night on the Luminosa and that they the menu may get a bit repetitive they have two menus that they rotate on the um, Pacific Encounter however the Pacific Encounter also has two other included dining restaurants that are um, the Angelo's which is the Italian and Dragon Lady which is Asian they also have two menus that rotate on a three-day rotation so um so there's there's plenty of choice on both ships to be honest with you yeah um, but on the pacific when, where you have the uh, the dragon lady and the uh, what was the other one angelo's hmm. they're quite a different uh, restaurant so they, they are they're a different venue, different, different location yeah. so yeah yeah so so it's a completely different ambience and so if that's your thing that you want to try something hmm. different that would be perhaps the one to go for. Yeah. Um, we actually quite like that because it feels like you've got three different restaurants yeah. to choose from. Yeah, you? you just have to book those in um, and, and book them in relatively early as well because quite often they can get mm. booked out. Well, they do get booked out, actually. They they're, do. they're very they well do. frequented. And both of them have, we are oh, sort the, of specifically talking about the evening now, mm. they both have that kind of um, buffet style. Yeah. The Lido um, Marketplace. Both of them yeah. upstairs by the pools. Yeah, um, yeah. Lido Marketplace for the Luminosa and the um, Pantry for the Pacific Encounter. Mm-hmm. They sort of dim the lights in the evening, make it a little bit more, hmm. yeah, a little bit more restauranty, but it's still that sort of buffet style. So the, the, let's just go more into the casual dining then. then hmm. for, so for the daytime, um, the... Encounter has the pantry. So, yeah, yeah. You, you were just saying about what the pantry is like. 
Yeah, yeah, and in the pantry, it's, it's more like, as I say, it's more like a food court. You've got your different stations. There's a um, there's an Asian station. There's a Mexican station. There's an Indian station. There's fish and chips. There is a roast, yeah. and there is a salad pasta bar. as well. And pasta, then, yeah, salad and bar. then there's the salad and and, and the fruits and the, the desserts and, and, and whatever. So they're they're available. That's all in the one location. Uh, on the Luminosa, it's a similar sort of thing, but they're in different locations. So on the Luminosa, you've got the uh, the, off the grill, the burgers, you've got the tacos and burritos. You've got the pan- deli. You've got the deli, you've got the pizza, pizza del capitano. Um, I'm getting Snags lost now. Snags and pies. Snags and pies. Old fashioned uh, shout, out to, <laughs> shout out to the guy. <laughs> Ali loves her pies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Michael. Yeah, Michael, Michael. This one's for you, mate. This one's for you. The pies, yeah. Uh, and they're yeah, old fashioned barbecue, but they're, yeah. they're in different they're in different um, locations. But it's the same sort of thing. So it, it's, it, yeah, again, it's, it's up to you. Have you, whichever suits you, whichever you have a preference for. We actually, we like the, we actually do like the Luminosa where it's separate places mm. because we'll go, let's go and have a taco today and we'll go to that separate station. And it's like it's like eating out somewhere like like central Brisbane or, or Sydney where you go and you have that particular item. Um, on the other one in the pantry, everything's together. So if I wanted Chinese and Rob wanted fish and chips, obviously it's in the same location. So we, we yeah. can get completely different things. So if you're with a larger party, it's one of those things where either you then would split up and go and have your own sort of food, or if you like to be all together all the mm. time, um, the pantry's probably... Well, you can still go back and eat them. You don't. No, nobody's forcing no, you to. In fact, no. in fact, generally speaking, the, there isn't... I'm trying to think now here. So there's a couple in the Lido Marketplace. So there's the seating in there. Mm. Um, I don't think there's any seating at, at the barbecue. Um, there is seating at the grill. Um, yeah, but yeah, there's nothing to stop you taking those and sitting in one place anyway. It just means to say that you've got to go to different parts. It's, it's nowhere as far. It's not that far, but it's, it is different them, areas of the ship. Both of them are cool with you eating your food around the uh, pool area. Mm. Um, and that's that's lovely. They've got proper tables and chairs, or if you just want to have, I don't know, snack while you're on your lounger bed, it's all fine. They don't restrict you from walking around the ship with your plates of food, mm. which, is, which is super. Um, okay, now, so we've done that. We've done, um, let's talk about the specialty dining. Ooh, specialty so the dining. specialty dining, this is where you you have to pay. You have to <laughs> part with your money. Yeah, so you it, expect, you expect something these are, special, don't you? These are reasonably similar as well, I think. There's, they've both got a steakhouse, Luke's Bar and Grill on the Encounter and Fahrenheit 555 on the Luminosa. Both absolutely excellent sort of steak, seafood restaurants. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I, there's nothing much much to, to pick between them, I don't think, on that. They they both have another specialty dining on the um, Illuminos. You've got the Piano Trattoria. It used to be um, 400 Gradi, recently changed. Did you just say the Luminos then? Did I? I meant the Encounter. The encounter. My apologies. Yeah. <laughs> so on the Encounter, you have the Piano Trattoria, um, which, which is a, a new addition. It's a, it used to be the um, 400 Gradi, which only did pizzas. Now the P&O Trattoria does some pizzas and pastas as well. On the Luminosa... But they're excellent. Have, they're all rolled in front of you and... and well, we'll find out. We're not actually... Yeah. We, we were going to have... We were going to try it on the last cruise. We'll try it on the next cruise. So we, we don't actually know how good or bad that is yet. So we, we've not tried that. But they, um, the Luminosa... Oh, I'm thinking has, about when it was the other restaurant. Grady, yeah, 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 when yeah. it was the Grady. Yeah, it was like, yeah. So the Luminosa has the seafood restaurant, seafood corner, I think it's called, um, with fresh seafoods that you can have. What I would say though, that is located actually in the Lido Marketplace. Um, so it's blink it's, it's... and you would miss it. You have <laughs> to know that it's there. They put the fresh fish out and yeah. all the seafood out every day, but it looks like just one of the ordinary stations. Yeah, it's, it doesn't. It's not that sort of doesn't have that same sort of specialty feel that they've got on no, the um, the encounter no. with the separate venues. But uh, so yeah, yeah, really. It's, it's, I, as I said, they've both got steakhouses. It depends on whether you want seafood or the Italian, <laughs> yeah. as to which might suit you best. So yeah, yeah. Um, bars. Okay, mm. so there's a number of bars 
on both of these ships you will not be short of finding yourself um i'm gonna say a drink but you can you know a drink or a place to sit and have now a, we are um, excluding here the the sort of casual bars that are open sort of like that the, the the pool bars and the ocean bars the ones that are just like i don't know what i would call convenience bars mm. where you just sort of go up and get a drink while you're out by the pool or whatever we're actually talking about the the bars where you might go in the evening to sort of spend the evening um Actually, before we do, I just I, I, my take on this is that the bars on the counter are more barsy, for want of a better word, whereas the bars on the Luminosa are more lounges. Mm. They're, they're, they're bigger, they're more spacious. They've generally got like windows facing out to sea. Um, they they have a they, they spread out a lot more, so they're more of a lounge bar, whereas the encounters are more of a a bar type bar. Yeah. So, mm. <laughs> And they've got on the encounter. See if I can remember. There is the what have we got? We've got the ho- we've got the hotel encounter. Yes. Um, we've got the uh, blue room. The blue room. Yes. Sorry. The blue room. The bonded store. Um, the ocean. Ocean. The ocean bar. That's right. That's just up above the atrium. And of course, we've got the lobby, which is down in the atrium. I think that's about it, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, and on the Luminosa, we've got the Ocean Plaza, we've got the um, Alchemy, we've got the Piano Bar 88, and is there another one? The Atrium. The Atrium. The I keep forgetting those. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, look, so bars, trying to lounges. do like with like. So they both have um, sort of the Atrium, the centre bit, yep. uh, the centre of the ship, so and where all the lifts and the things and the stairs go. So on the Encounter, that is a really beautiful space that has lots of chairs and a lot of the evening functions mm. well not a lot but they do have evening functions there and the live music and things and that's got that's a nice space nice elegant space it's still a nice space in the um on the luminosa but the, there's not as many tables and chairs they've got the big statue of uh is it not Madonna? Donna? <laughs> Donna, yeah. Donna. <laughs> um, which kind of breaks things up a little bit there. Um, so they both have sort of like that, um, the Encounter Hotel and the Ocean Plaza. They're probably... The- They're sort of the... You- Great big massive lounges that do the um, karaoke and your and evening things. So and those sorts of things. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. very very similar. Um, and then they've got the specialty cocktails. So the yeah. alchemy in one place and the bonded store in the other. Yeah, for your more for unique you. drinks, your sort of like handmade cocktails, for want of a, a better expression, and your, your, your specialty yeah. unique type drinks. So and yeah. they tend both to get, lovely venues. Uh, they tend to get busier later in the evening when people are just kind of chilling down and everything yeah. and, and go for a nice cocktail so very very similar we would say on the bars and the drinks yeah. um of, of equal similar quality yeah. throughout all the bars and of course the service always and, service with a smile oh, from both of these ships your bonded store and your alchemy because they're sort of like a little bit special drinks do tend to be a little bit more mm. expensive than than the other bars but that's the same on both ships so there's nothing really to pick between them mm. yeah. mm. um, so yes there's live music so on the encounter that is in the lobby yep. and in the luminosa it's in the atrium. They so do. similar. So they both have that. And yeah. um, they both have live music, as we said. One's in the Ocean Plaza. One's in the Encounter Hotel. Again, like with like. Yeah. They'll have dancing and um, live bands on. That are re- Both are really good quality on, on both of those ships. And then we've got uh, in the Blue Room in the Encounter... That, that tends to go on till uh, quite late, and that's bluesy and jazz, and they'll have proper bands in there, mm-hmm. which is really yes, good, a proper lovely size lounge there. On the Luminosa, they've got the Piano Bar 88. That tends to be just one person, either on piano or guitar, and that's nice for when you're waiting to go into your restaurant. So it's not quite mm-hmm. the same as the late night bar for the, um, on the other one. It's kind of it's kind of cocktail music, kind of softer cocktail music. Yeah, I don't uh, know the timings, but I, 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 they do go on quite late. Yeah, but it's I just think I've been it's, in it's the slightly Luminosa different. Quite late. Yeah, it's a slightly <laughs> different vibe in 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 those bars. But um, yeah, again, theme nights. 
Love them or hate them. <laughs> <laughs> Some people loathe them. Just before we go there, dressing up is not compulsory. It is entirely up to you. It's your holiday. If you feel like dressing up on the theme nights and joining in, then fine. If you don't, nobody's going to stop you joining in, <laughs> even just because you have And you don't look like up. a boring old rabble if you don't do it. Yeah. Nobody's interested. You're not, you're not, yeah, you don't get and, looked at. And there is varying levels of dress up as well. Some sort of some like just a, put a hat on yeah. and that's it. And some go <laughs> all out and higher costumes. Yeah. It's just like your what holiday. What did we see on the last do one what, where they went to feels. superhero? They went Iron to Man, superheroes. Iron Man was great. Was, <gasps> was it Iron Man? Yeah, just they like, had that whole rubber suit on. So some people, no Thor, wasn't it? Thor. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people and and contact lenses with the weird eyes. The gun. Yeah. No. So some people go completely. Just go crazy if you want, or, or not just if put you a hat, don't. or <laughs> just go in what you. Yeah. But the theme nights are the theme nights are different on the boat ship, and I don't I don't mean what they they actually are. They they're still got a different feel. The the P and O. A theme nights tend to be like an all-night event. Um, they will incorporate a, a, usually a party, some music and a bit of dancing and everything. But it, the, the whole sort of night is around that, like the Gatsby night or the White night. Or, um, so you, you get it dressed up. Or You'd stay like that for up. the night and yeah. each venue would... would would be in that theme for each of the things that you do. Yeah, whereas the, the, the carnival theme nights tend to be more sort of deck parties um, and they start a little bit later and they will go on for an hour and a half maybe um, up on the deck. Also great fun. Um, but people but very, do... T- but very different. So some people will, they'll go for their meal, go for their theatre mm. in their normal kind of clothes Go and get changed into something like the white or the the glow party or something. Go and get changed for that. Have your deck party and then may or may not get changed again back, back. Mm. which sounds a little bit odd. But if you don't feel comfortable wearing something funky uh, and a bit stupid. Yeah, just for, seriously, wear, wear, what, your wear what you've done to it. It's your holiday. Then, so. then you may prefer to do that and just go and get changed. Yeah. So, yeah, it's what, what I would say, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> yes, that's, that's, that's it. Oh. So, um yeah, so it's cool on either whether you want to dress up or not. Yeah. The other main difference, I just want to, to close off with this one before we do, the other main difference is the actual look of the ships because they are very, very different. They're, they're a similar age. They're both sort of round about the 20 years of age. The, the P&O Encounter, the Pacific Encounter, is a lot more sort of um, modern-y, I suppose. A lot, um, yeah, there's a lot of whites yes. and a lot of whites and plain colours mm. and, and that sort of thing around it. The Luminosa has kept its classic Italian. It was a Costa ship. It's kept its classic Italian style. And it is everywhere. It, you know, the, the, it's, there's golds. There's very ornate sort of designs. There's the... Yes. I, 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 I could You'd go on all day about have it. Have a look on the, um, on the other it, videos we've done. Well, very, very different look. Very, very Italian styling. <laughs> Alrighty, so that is our head-to-head of the Piano Pacific Encounter and the Carnival Luminosa. We hope we've given you a little bit of information to help you Something to think about when you're making a decision about which one might be right for you. Mm. Um, if we have, and if you like the video or you want to be nice to us or you know, maybe your finger just slips on the like button, whatever, hit that like button if you wouldn't mind. Please subscribe. That help, always helps us out. If you want to see more of our videos, hit the notification button and um, we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you. From p and Bear and Carnival oh, Bear. Carnival Bear, the matching. <laughs> You say, oh, you did you match? No. You just haven't got your epaulets on. You have got your white on. That's true. <laughs> Very close. Yeah, he's, he's actually from the, the Pacific Dawn. But anyway, you know, I always know. interrupt the end. I know. You do. Specialty coffee. They both do specialty coffee <laughs> bars on both of them. They do. Just thought I'd slip that one in. They do. All right, then. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.